Dzień dobry, jak się masz? Hello, welcome back to my channel. For those who don't know me, my name is Luis Leon and I'm basically a Peruvian living in Poland. And for today's video, I'm bringing you six things that shocked me the most when I moved to Poland. But let's not make this any longer and let's just get right into it. Number one, shoes. Shoes are something so important and something that still stresses the beep out of me because in Poland they have this rule or this tradition or this custom that every time that you go to someone's house you need to take your shoes off. If you don't, it will be really weird. Like the only chance or the only moment actually that you can stay with your shoes on is when the host of the house tell you you can just stay with your shoes on it's okay but if they don't you need to take them off and this is still something that stresses me out because in peru um, we don't do this we never do this like you will never see anyone taking their shoes off when they go into someone's houses not even if you're in your own house you wouldn't take your shoes off you still wear your shoes you still wear flip-flops or sneakers or anything but you just have to be with shoes on but in Poland you don't in Poland they don't do this and it's still I've been here three years and I still struggle with this my friends always make fun of me because I'm this type of person who always have different socks and they I don't really have nice socks and they always make fun of me and most of the time they always see me with one sock with unicorns on and the other sock with a hole in it and I had so many embarrassing situations I I was invited once at um, my friend's Christmas dinner like her parents invited me over and I did I, I I told myself you need to wear nice socks for today you need to look good and I choose really nice socks actually and when I went to the party I showed my friend and I, I told him and um, look I have really nice socks are you proud of me and he was like your your sock has a hole and I was like what and this kind of stuff always happened to me and I still I'm still not used to it. It's still something that it doesn't really bother me, but it's still something that triggers me all the time and uh, maybe annoy me a little bit because I'm still not used to it. I live alone in my flat and I always take my shoes off. When my friends come over, I always tell them to sh to take their shoes off. And actually, I kind of understand the reason why, because you don't want the dirt from outside inside your house because it will be more difficult to clean. But every time that you go to someone's houses, you need to take your shoes off. You just have to. Don't ask why. Just do it. First of all, let's say that in Poland, transportation is amazing. Like, it's so clean, it's so well organized, it's just connected very well to all the cities and the fact that Poland is in Central Europe is just amazing. I live in the south of Poland, it's called Katowice and it literally kind of almost borders with Germany, it's really close to Germany, it's really close to Austria, it's really close to Czech Republic, it's just amazing, like I literally can take a bus and go to Czech Republic in one hour, like literally I can just go for the weekend to a different country or I can just go for groceries to Czech Republic and it's really easy, it's really cheap and it's really accessible. This is what I love about Poland and it's something that really shocked me. But as I said, it's really clean. Everything seems like brand new. The buses are so clean. The trains are really clean. The trams are really clean and it's very cheap. But also what really shocked me was that in Peru, buses are very loud. There's always a lot of noise. There's always music. There's Latino music playing in the bus. Always, it's like a rule, there's always music. And in Poland, there's never music, it's just very quiet. People really, they just sit like this and they have their uh, earphones on and they just don't talk to anybody, they just mind their own business and they're just very quiet. In Peru, if you go to a bus, a public bus, always there will be music, people talking, you're always talking to someone. You is very likely to make friends in the bus, in the public transportation, the public bus. And always, trust me, um, someone from the outside, someone will get in the bus and they will start selling stuff and they will be like shouting candies, candies, or mangoes, mangoes, or watermelon, or stuff like that, because it's very common, it's something that it's part of our culture, it's something very Peruvian, very Latino, I think. Um, so that's one of the things that really shocked me the most, that in Poland it's just so quiet and you don't talk. So now every time that I go in public transportation, I just sit there 
put my earphones on and just mind my business. I don't talk to anybody. I pretend that nobody exists and then just there sitting and like just waiting for for my next my next stop. Yeah. I know that maybe you don't even notice about this and maybe this is very normal to you if you're Polish, you have never thought about it, but I'm Peruvian, I'm Latino and in Poland they are so quiet. They're like extremely quiet. Like when they go to the cinema, they literally sit like this for like one hour or as long as the movie lasts and they just watch the movie, they don't say a word, they don't show emotions, like nothing, they just really focus and it's like the movie, you, the movie, that's it, don't talk, don't look at me, nothing, and if you, you cannot just eat popcorn and be like that. But in Peru, we talk, like, <laughs> there's a lot of noise, like, people, they what? take their chicken with fries to, to the cinema, they take cookies and stuff, and you're talking to your friend, kinda, and, like, if you're watching a scary movie and there's, like, a scary part, like, people will shout, they will be like, ah! but in, po in Poland, they don't, like, I've been to the cinema in Poland, and when they watch the scary movies and there's, like, a scary part, they just, uh, they, they will sit like this, and they will be like, oh, and that's it, like literally that's it. And it's just so weird, it's something that I still not used to it every time that I go to the cinema with my friends, we really have to be quiet, we have to sit there and try not to talk, try not to laugh, and they always yell at us, they always complain because we're being so loud. And you know, um, people tend to say that Latino people are a bit loud, and maybe we are just like a tiny bit, but <laughs> but yeah, it's something that really shocked me and I'm still not used to it. Every time that I go with Latino friends, I'm always like, really stressed because I know that they will complain but when I go to Polish people I, I just know that I have to be quiet and just watch the movie and that's it the language oh my god the language to be honest before I moved to Poland I didn't know anything about Poland if you're Polish I'm really sorry but I really didn't know anything about Poland then I moved here and the language I'm thinking about it and I just have a headache. Like, I've been here three years and I still don't speak the language. Przepraszam bardzo, nie mówię po polsku, ale polski jest bardzo trudne. I byłem w Polsce trzy lata, ale nie, nie, nie mówię po polsku. Nie, nie, nie mówię po polsku. But yeah, Polish is very difficult. Um, I don't think the pronunciation is quite difficult. What I think is the grammar, it's really difficult. Um, you can have like a word with just consonants or a word with just one vowel or two vowels and just full of consonants which is like crazy and when I first arrived I just heard people saying like it's like God and the numbers the numbers are so difficult I learned the numbers like in two years I just learned the numbers last year because I couldn't. But to be honest, I really think that Polish is a beautiful language. I really love it. I think it sounds great. I would love to learn it because I really feel like in order to get to know the people, to get to know the culture, you really need to learn. You, you really need to learn. You, re you really need to learn the language. And I'm still getting there. I hope maybe safety. Oh my God. This is what I love and I appreciate the most about Poland. Poland is such a safe country. You know that South America or Latin America is not like the safest countries or the safest uh, continent in the world. Um, it could be quite dangerous, but it actually depends on where exactly, in which part or which city you are in. But Poland is just so safe. I live, as I said, I live in Katowice, which is the south of Poland. And I just feel like nothing would ever happen to me here like honestly i can just go outside i can go at 4 a.m and go for walks even if it's really dark even if there's no one on the on the streets i will feel very safe i know that nothing would happen to me <laughs> to be honest and it's really sad to say and i really hope that you don't get scared but in peru like i would never i don't think i would feel safe to go out with my phone like at 4 a.m or 3 a.m and be like Hello, blah blah blah, because someone will steal it from me. And in Poland, it's really safe for girls, it's really safe for guys, it's really safe for everybody. I think the only thing that could happen to you is like a drunk guy, a, they would come to you and they will ask you for alcohol or they will ask you for some money so they can buy cigarettes or they will ask you for a lighter, and that's it. But apart from that, Poland is really safe. <laughs> Okay guys, so this is the end of the video. If you really liked it, you can just hit the subscribe button here and leave me a thumbs up if you want me to talk about something else or if you want me to make a second part of, 
the things that shocked me the most when I moved to Poland, just leave it down in the comments and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so it notifies you whenever I upload a video. Let's see each other next time.